we'll begin by bringing your attention to our breath. You're welcome to just open your nose, allowing yourself to settle into your body. Take a, take a really big breath inhale, filling in all the way to the top of the lungs, top of the throat. Exhaling out of the mouth slowly. Doing that again, another big inhale. Fully filling the belly. Before slowly exhaling. Returning to a natural rhythm with each exhale. Allowing yourself to relax any tension in the body. Maybe some familiar places that you often hold tension. In the shoulders, in the jaw. Invite any movement there, anything that allows you to release. Allowing the whole body to breathe. And taking this moment to get in touch with our breath and any other sensations that bring us back to this moment and allow us to be present. The ground. We'll call all of our energy to us here. So all of your energy allowing it to be here with you, protective, emanating from inside. And that energy that we can call upon to expend in ways that we choose. And so making that choice for it to be here with you. Mm. On one of your next exhales, we'll let an ear drop to your shoulder either side. Take some big breaths into the side of the neck, dropping that opposite shoulder elongating from head to that shoulder. Slowly letting your head drop down, looking towards your belly butt, breathing into the neck, into the upper back. And making your way to the other side, opposite side. Oh no. Dropping that shoulder, breathing into the side of the neck. And slowly letting the head drop down, allowing any half circles here, going back and forth between each side. And then letting this turn into any full circles, being slow. And coming back to our neutral spine, allowing crown to sit on top of our shoulders, floating above our rib cage and our sit bone, feeling that elongation. Not forced, but upright. In our next few breaths, we'll meet in child's pose. So take your time finding yourself on your knees, arms outstretched, yeah, crossing our knees. Nice. 
Take a few breaths into the ground to your mat. And we'll walk our hands towards the right, sinking into that left hip, breathing into the left side of the body. If you want to come away from there. Walking our hands back to center and then to the other side. Breathing into the right side of the body. Coming back to center and then shifting into our tabletop into some cat and cow, dropping the belly, lifting the chest, inhale, and exhaling, curving the spine, looking towards your belly button. You know, right away, allowing this to be your own practice. Getting into the spine, moving in any familiar or new ways. Allowing the spine to be fluid. Greeting it with curiosity. You know, asking the spine how it feels and what it needs right now. Mm. Shifting into our back, into our tabletop, into our neutral spine. We'll shift our weight forward and lowering our chest all the way down to the ground, pulling our elbows in towards us, releasing onto our belly. You can rest your forehead on your hands or turn your cheek to one side. And here, letting our full frontal of the body just soften into the ground. We'll come into Sphinx, so pushing on to our forearms. I'm just looking over our left shoulder, like you're looking for your toes and dropping that shoulder, feeling the length of the neck. And we're gonna, um, we can adjust that, that right hand as we bring our um, left foot or left knee up to the side for a half frog. Yeah, so opening here. And then we're gonna just settle in here. So turning your cheek towards that way. You can rest your hands on your hands or elbow. And letting ourselves soften, letting gravity do the work here. Gentle hip opener. We're going to gently lift our, our upper body up a bit here and then rolling on to our side for a uh, beach lounge pose, I call it. So coming onto our side here, you can rest your head on your hand. We're going to bend our knee up um, like a right angle. Yeah, lifting it up here. Nice. And holding it here, we're going to shift this leg forward, just letting our knee touch the ground. So trying to keep the foot off the ground. Using that, that left hand as support, lifting it back up along the side, and then shifting it behind us, dipping just the toe behind us here. So getting a little uh, movement in the hips, 
here. And we're gonna shift back and forth here. So dipping our knee ahead of us, some rotation forward and then behind us. You can go back and forth with this a few times, noticing any shifts in our core to keep us balanced, the weight in our that left hand. And then we'll extend that leg to the side, stretching that leg fully up towards the sky, and then slowly meeting the right foot, but as if they are opposite magnets. So with a lot of resistance, slowly bringing it down. Nice, eventually closing it in, and we'll come back onto our bellies, finding just a neutral position. You can rest that head on your forehead. Taking a few breaths here, taking in any information, any differences you might feel on the sides of your body. And shifting back into our Sphinx pose and then moving our arms towards the right, looking over our right shoulder, breathing into the stretch on that left side, length between the crown of the head and that left shoulder. And then shifting into our half frog, bringing that right knee up at the hips length and letting your head rest in, settling in to half frog on this side. And softening here, nothing to force. And then rotating on our side for our beach lounge, lifting that knee in a right angle as the sky, and then internally rotating, bringing that knee forward, just letting that knee touch ahead of us. Same movement as the other side, lifting it up, and then dipping our toes back behind us. And moving at your own pace, consciously. And extending that leg long up towards the sky, holding it here for a breath, and then slowly lowering it down again with tension. And then releasing onto our bellies, take a breath here. And we'll push back to child's pose, sinking our hips back behind us. <laughs> Inhale, shifting into our tabletop, and then shifting a little bit beyond that, bringing our chest towards the ground, tailbone up towards the sky, and then coming into cobra, shoulders drop down as we lift the chest up, nice. And then back to child's pose. Do that again, inhaling, coming up, through this modified plank, lowering down, chest towards the ground, coming into cobra, lifting the chest up, shoulders are back and down. And then back to child's pose. And your next breath, we'll tuck the toes and meet in down dog. Taking a time, bending and stretching the legs. Mm -hmm. Inhale, three-legged dog, our right leg goes up. And then bringing that foot forward, lowering our back knee, coming into low lunge. Arms reach up, dropping our shoulders, sinking into that front hip, and pressing that 
back shin into the ground, giving us stability and support here. We'll lower our left hand towards the ground, coming into a twist, twisting towards that right knee. Staying here, you might reach for that back, uh, back foot for a little added quad stretch if you're feeling ready for that. Breathing into the sensation, bringing our attention there. And slowly releasing that, our right hand comes down to the ground. We'll tuck that back toe and step forward for a uh, forward fold. You can, you can grab opposite elbows, offer a little movement here, slight bend in the knees, letting this be fluid. Releasing the hands, inhale, halfway lift, spine long, and exhale, forward fold. And again, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. We'll step back in our down dog. Inhale, lifting that left heel up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then stepping that foot forward, coming into low lunge on the other side, that back right knee goes down, lifting our arms up. Beautiful, dropping our shoulders. Your next exhale, lowering that right hand down, coming into a twist, opening up towards the left. If you can visualize the spine twisting from sit bone to the crown of the head. And here, option to reach back for that knee or foot. <laughs> And releasing that quad stretch if you're in that. That right, left hand can come down. Um, we'll step back to down dog. So going right back to down dog. And then inhale, shifting into plank, holding this for three breaths. Option to lower our knees if you need. Pulling our belly button up towards our spine. And then that third breath, slowly lowering, bringing our elbows in all the way to the ground and then coming into Cobra or Up Dog, lifting our shoulders back and down, pressing the palms into the ground, lifting the chest up. And then we'll meet back in Down Dog. Mm. Inhale, shifting into Plank. Again, we'll take one breath here. And exhale, lowering down, coming into cobra or up dog. Nice. And back to down dog. Looking to the top of our mat, we'll step our foot, both feet forward. And inhale, coming all the way up to standing, arms reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Dropping our shoulders, feeling our feet pressing into the ground. Noticing the texture of the ground that we're on, of our mat. And as if our feet can spread out and relax into the ground. And that radiating up the rest of our body, a fluidity, even in our uprightedness. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And exhale, planting our hands on our mat. Stepping back to down dog. Option to go slow. So if you'd like shifting into plank, lowering to low plank, chaturanga, cobra, or up dog. Always option just to hang out in down dog. 
Taking a big cleansing breath here in our down dog. And our next exhale, looking forward, stepping both feet to the top of our mat. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing, arms reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, planting our hands onto our mat, stepping back to down dog and going through your flow if you would like. Taking a big breath here. And your next exhale, looking forward, stepping both feet forward, coming into our forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, planting our hands at the top of our mat, stepping back to down dog, going through your flow if you would like. <sighs> Inhale, we'll lift our right heel up towards the sky and then opening the hip, letting that hang out a bit nice yeah inviting any hip circles here and then turning that toe in bringing that knee to your nose and stepping it forward coming into a high lunge arms reach up feet on different train tracks giving us stability here dropping our shoulders and finding a point of focus Again, calling our energy to this, this position, this space. Mm. We're gonna release our right hand towards the ground and letting our, our left hand uh, sort of bend over like a wilting flower, if you will. So rounding that a little bit, feeling a side bend as we bend towards uh, the right. You're noticing where you feel this and then letting this turn into a twist so you can open the arms wide as we twist towards the right. Nice. Letting the spine feel tall. Now your exhale will release our left hand towards the ground and stepping our uh, right foot back, coming into a side plank. Always option to lower a knee here if you need. Nice. Beautiful feeling extension here, expanding that chest. And then we'll all lower that knee down for a supported uh, side plank. And then letting that other knee follow, come, and then coming into our tabletop, allowing a cat and cow to happen here. And then tucking the toes, we'll meet back in down dog. Nice. And inhale, we'll lift that left heel up towards the sky, opening the hip. And inviting any hip circles here. Yeah, a lot of rotation in the hips. And turning that knee in, three-legged dog. We'll bring that knee towards our nose and step it forward, coming into our high lunge on the left side. Ooh, arms are up. And dropping our shoulders. Gonna focus. Lowering that left hand and bending the right hand for a side bend here. That hand can droop. Feeling that stretch along the right side of the body. Mm -hmm. 
and letting this turn into a twist. The spine comes back upright. Yeah, arms reaching in opposite direction, nice. Our exhale, releasing our right hand to the ground, stepping that back foot for a side plank, taking your version of this. Feeling the full palm pressing into the ground. And then everyone lowering that right knee, left knee follows, coming into tabletop and taking a cat and cow in between here. Cat and cow and any other organic movement that happens. And we'll meet and down dog. Nice. Mm -hmm. Leading in down dog, we'll lift that right heel up again towards the sky. And stepping that knee forward, bringing it forward and coming again to our high lunge, arms reach up. Going through this with a little more fluidity, we'll lower our right hand down, bending towards the left or right, sorry. Yeah, and then letting this open up into a twist. Taking a big breath here. And exhale, lowering that left hand down, coming into our side plank again. Taking your version of this. <laughs> and then everyone lowering your knee, but staying here on our, in the side plank, this modified side plank. And we'll lift that back leg up a little bit, taking a balance. Nice. I'm feeling our palm and that shin pressing to the ground, giving us stability. And we can lower that right knee and uh, hand back to the ground, taking another cat and cow. Mm -hmm. Meeting back and down dog. <laughs> Inhale, lifting that left heel up towards the sky, bringing knee to nose and stepping it forward, coming into our high lunge on the left side. Exhale, lowering that left hand down, bending towards our left. Breathing into that stretch and opening up into a twist towards our left, feeling our spine long, spiraling up towards the ceiling or sky. And then exhale, lowering that left, right hand down to the ground, coming into our side plank. And everyone lowering that right knee and shifting into a balance here. So testing our balance, lifting that back leg up off the ground, feeling our weight, pressing into that full palm. And then releasing both hands to the ground, taking a cat and cow and shifting the hips back for a child's pose. You can let the knees go wide if you'd like. Taking a few breaths here, checking in if you've forgotten about the breath. Yeah, grabbing a sip of water if you need. Mm -hmm. Allowing our energy and attention to come back to this space if it has wandered.
Your next few breaths, we'll meet back in down dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale, we'll lift that right heel up towards the sky and staying here or bringing knee to nose on your exhale, doing this three times, inhale, extend up. And exhale, knee to nose, nice. And on that third one, knee to nose, step it forward, coming into our high lunge again, arms reach up. Lower our right hand down, again, coming into this bend. This time we're gonna let this sort of circle leading us into a warrior two. However you find your way there is great. So warrior two, that back leg spins down, our feet perpendicular to each other, shoulders are dropped, arms extending in opposite direction. We'll inhale and reverse our warrior, reaching our right hand up towards the sky. Lots of length and space between that right hip and the right fingertips. Taking up a lot of space. On your exhale, coming into side angle, connecting elbow to thigh, and we'll extend that left hand long. Nice. Mm -hmm. And staying here, or you might try to bring our right hand parallel to the other hand. Added thigh, quad, engagement for sure. And we'll all come up, stretching that front leg. Release our arms, we're gonna prepare for triangle pose. So shifting our hips back, reaching that right hand forward and then down towards your shin, allowing that hand to land wherever it does today on your thigh or shin. <laughs> Making sure our tailbone is underneath us. That we are like a book in a, a full bookshelf, stacked upon each other. And slowly shifting up and out of this. We'll bend that front leg and we're gonna come into a half moon. So we're gonna reach this right hand forward, stepping that back foot in. You can reach for the ground or any sort of support you might have. And then test our balance, reaching, lifting that left foot up off the ground. Nice. Yeah, allowing yourself to wobble and fall and just come back to it. Pressing that standing leg into the ground. And finding that point of focus allows us to find balance. Standings for a split. So we'll let, let that leg go up as our body falls forward over that right leg. We'll let that left leg come down. Feet can be a little bit wider than our hips. And here, option to grab your toes or reach to your hands underneath uh, your feet. Whatever forward fold is calling to you. And releasing our hands. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Spine extends long. And exhale, forward fold. Planting our hands into the mat, stepping back to down dog. Option to go through your flow. Inhale, lifting that left heel up towards the sky, staying here, 
or exhaling, bring knee to nose. Inhale, extend long. And exhale, knee to nose, nice. And on that third one, bringing that knee forward, stepping it, coming into our high lunge. Arms reach up. Dropping our shoulders. And then letting that right left, left hand come down, bending towards our left. And letting this circle around, coming into our warrior two, so that back leg spins down. Arms are reaching in opposite direction, feet perpendicular to each other. Inhale, we'll reverse, reaching for that back leg. Left hand shoots up towards the sky. And exhale, side angle, connecting elbow to thigh, reaching that right hand alongside your right ear. Staying here, or you might extend that left hand parallel to your top hand. I'm just noticing how this changes the position. Breathing into the sensation. And then we'll stretch that front leg coming upright, letting our arms uh, extend long. We'll shift our hips back coming into triangle pose. So reaching that left hand forward allowing it to meet your shin or any other part of your leg that it's meeting tonight. Shifting back upright. We'll bend that front knee coming through our our warrior two again as we shift into um, half moon, stepping that front back leg forward, reaching that left hand towards the ground, testing our balance, yeah, using any supports that are available to you. Pressing that foot into the ground as it rises to meet us. Coming into our standing split, so releasing our hands down, that leg goes up, melting over that front leg, both hands on the ground supporting us. And then we'll release that right leg, standing forward fold. You might grab opposite elbows or the back of your neck. You can allow this one to move a little bit. And releasing our hands down. Mm. Inhale, halfway lift. And just forward fold. And inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Arms reach up. Mm. Exhale, hands to heart center. You can release your hands down into your side for mountain pose. Mm. Take five breaths or so here. And checking in with the breath. And if there's any tension, any differences you notice in your body. Mm -hmm. Inhale, we'll reach our arms up towards the sky. And exhale, sinking our hips back, coming to chair pose. Weight in the back of our heels. And keep your arms long or if heart center, you're seeking any variation, feeling our knees pointing straight ahead of us. We're going to twist towards our right. So either you can open your arms wide or letting elbow connect to thigh. Nice. Checking in with the knees, making sure they're in line with each other. Mm. 
And coming back to center, standing up, we'll connect our hands and then reaching them for banana pose, so reaching to one side, feeling our feet grounding. And coming back to center on the other side. And back. And then exhale, another chair pose, sinking our hips back down, arms, finding your arm variation. Weight in the back of the heels, and then shifting to the other side towards the left, taking your variation. And coming back to center, extending, stretching up straight, reaching the arms up towards the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Planting our hands on the ground, stepping our feet back. Option to go through your flow. We'll meet in a child's pose. And here, if you'd like to take a moment for any um, inversion practice, I invite you to do that. You could also do a rabbit pose, which is just rolling up onto the top of the crown of our head. Taking a few more breaths here. Mm. Leaning back in child's pose. We'll come to standing on our knees. I'm coming into a uh, camel pose. We can roll our shoulders back and down, supporting our lower back with our hands right here, letting the chest shine up towards the sky. And here, if it's in your practice to reach one arm back towards your heel, you're welcome to that, or just staying here. Allowing our chest to expand. Mm. Slowly releasing, coming out of this, thinking back into our child's pose. Shifting on to hands and knees, our weight shifts forward a little bit and allowing our chest to come towards the ground, releasing our full belly onto the ground. <laughs> we'll take a few breaths here, just letting yourself fully relax, surrendering into the ground, again, softening. <sighs> Arms will come alongside our torso, preparing for locust pose. Rolling the shoulders back and down. We'll inhale and lifting our chest up. Shoulders roll back. Feet and maybe knees come off the ground. Trying to keep our spine nice and long. Full engagement of the back body. Maybe lifting a little bit higher with our inhale. 
And then exhale, lowering all the way down, turning the cheek to one side or just resting the forehead on your hands. And then coming into another locus or bow pose. Locus doing the same thing. For bow, you would reach back for the tops of your feet, pressing them into your hands as you lift your chest and knees up off the ground. Taking another breath or two here and slowly lowering down. You might let your knees rock back and forth. We'll shift back into our uh, child's pose. Eventually coming back into down dog. No rush to get there. You prepare for pigeon. So we'll lift that right leg up towards the sky. You might open the hip a little bit if that feels, let that hang out. And bringing that knee to uh, the same wrist. Yeah, coming, adjusting that shin. Alternatively, you could find a figure four on your back for a hip opener. Yeah, allowing yourself to get settled here. We'll spend a minute-ish allowing it to be sustainable if you want to take any back bend before letting yourself release down. Drawing our energy and attention to the sensation. Where can we soften? Slowly start coming out of this side. You might take another hip opener, roll in the shoulders, any other in between movement. Before finding our pigeon on the other side. Yeah, so setting up, you know what to do, allowing that knee to come towards your wrist, allowing the side to be different, and just noticing that. Settling into the left side.
Slowly start coming out of this side. Again, keep doing whatever you need to do to unwind a little bit. We will meet on our seats. You're welcome to just come straight there. Now we'll come into a boat balance. So lifting our shins up, balancing on our sit bones. We're gonna slowly lower just a couple inches towards the ground, extending the feet forward and then coming back up towards center. Inhale, lowering, and coming back up. And one more, come back up, and then slowly lowering all the way down. See if you can challenge yourself to let your feet and hands reach at the similar to your head at the same time. Eventually just totally giving into the ground. Yeah, take a few big breaths here. We'll bring our right knee into our chest, giving it a little squeeze. And then letting that cross over towards the left, coming into a twist, opening up towards the right, looking over our right shoulder. Hmm. If you'd like, you can bend that left knee and reach for that with your right hand. I think it's called cat pulling its tail. Little added hip stretch with this twist. And slowly releasing out of that, bringing our knee back over the onto our backs. Both knees can come in, giving yourself a little squeeze. And then extending that right leg long. Letting that left knee cross over towards the right. And releasing into this twist. If you'd like, reaching for that right foot with your left hand. And we'll release out of this coming back to center, giving yourself a little squeeze and reaching for the outsides of these feet, foot, uh, your feet coming into happy baby. Yeah, inviting any movement here, any bending and stretching of the legs. And from here, taking any other movements that are calling to you before closing our practice. Could be legs up towards the sky, or a shoulder stand, or a restorative rest with our knees together. Mm 
Eventually on your own timing, finding your way into a final resting pose, Shavasana. Giving yourself full permission to release and relax. No, there's nothing left to do. Invite some big breaths into the belly. Allowing any movement to emanate to your fingers and toes. Gently waking ourselves up, gently bringing us back. With no rush, pushing yourself onto one side eventually. And bringing yourself back to a seat. Close our practice together. Hands can find your thighs or they can rest at your heart or belly. We'll take three big breaths together to close our practice. Taking a big inhale. Allowing your head to bow forward, honoring yourself and for practicing in community today. Namaste.